Once you finish working with Sharpie, you're going to want to tape your watercolor paper down. To keep your masking tape from tearing your paper, you're going to want to remove some of the adhesive by placing it on your clothes or a washcloth and then lifting it up and then you're going to just tape your paper down on the edge. You're going to tape down all four sides. Using iodized salt, go ahead and put some in a small container so you have it ready once you finish watercoloring. For our first painting, we're going to create some texture using watercolor. And the first technique we're going to use is a wet on wet technique. Using a larger brush, you're going to wet the whole paper. We taped our paper to the surface to keep our paper from buckling and warping when we add the water. Now you're ready to paint. You can experiment using different sizes of paintbrushes and using different colors. With this technique, it's great for blending colors, so choose colors that are next to each other on the color wheel for beautiful blending. Once you finish painting, we can create a texture using saran wrap. You're just going to place the saran wrap over your artwork and kind of crumple it up a little bit. And you'll leave it in place until it completely dries. Watercolor brushes are generally shorter in length than acrylic or oil paint brushes. They're also made of soft, synthetic, or sable hairs. For this painting, we're going to use a technique called wet on dry. So you're going to wet your brush and then you're going to keep your paper dry. This type of painting provides more control over the paint. It's good for just painting small sections or providing detail to your artwork. You can explore by adding water and then paint to specific sections, or you could go straight in with the paint on the dry surface. For this piece of art, I painted the subject first, which was the flowers, and I'm painting the background second. This will cause some of the flowers to blend into the background. You can leave white space if you don't want your paints to blend, or you could paint your background first, let it dry, and then paint your flowers. Watercolors are transparent, and they are great for creating layers. Once you're finished painting, you can add texture by sprinkling on some iodized salt. You will want to let your artwork dry completely and then you can gently rub your salt off your paper. I hope you guys have enjoyed exploring texture through watercolor.